With this particular virus, as compared to with the previous ones, the virus actually is at much higher numbers, a thousand times more. Why are you hearing about breakthrough COVID cases in vaccinated people, and should you be concerned? Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Karen Swenson and I'm Katie Moore. You're fully vaccinated and now you're hearing you should wear a mask again. Even more concerning, you're hearing some vaccinated people still get COVID. Some even die. Medical reporter Meg Ferris has the Vax facts on who is at highest risk for breakthrough cases. The state health department tells us around 3000 vaccinated people have tested positive for COVID. A few dozen of those died. Why? Well, let's start with who has severe outcomes? They are men, women, black, white, of various ages. Average age, 73. That's less than one in 10,000 fully vaccinated who have to go to the hospital. Deaths are mostly the elderly with other health conditions, transplant patients, and those on immunotherapy treatments for cancer. When somebody's in their 80s and 90s, it's harder for their immune system to, to mount that you know, um, that response to the vaccine. There's a substantial number of transplant patients who don't respond to that vaccine. The rest of us get a good antibody response from the shot. The vast majority of individuals who are vaccinated either have mild symptoms or no symptoms at all. So from themselves, they are protected from severe disease and death. Even high risk people who are vaccinated tend to do well. They're getting a little bit of oxygen. They get a little bit of support they kind of turn around pretty quickly afterwards. Are you seeing some patients who are the average healthy person who is fully vaccinated still have severe breakthrough symptoms? Um, I have seen one individual. So what's so different about the Delta variant? Well, it's 1000 times more contagious than the original coronavirus. So consequently, if I get exposed today, by tomorrow, I could actually be infectious with high viral load where uh, I could transmit to someone else before I even get sick. That's the reason for the indoor mask recommendation. Vaccinated people may still be able to spread the virus even if they have no symptoms. So the bottom line? Your best ability to prevent getting sick, severely sick with COVID, being hospitalized or dying from COVID is to get vaccinated. For VaxFax, I'm Meg Farris. Only 154 of the 1.7 million vaccinated people in Louisiana have needed treatment in the hospital for COVID. Doctors tell us the vast majority of their patients are not vaccinated. 